the number of children being diagnosed with allergies is on the rise. And now researchers have discovered a link between nut allergies and breastfeeding. Instead of protecting against allergies, they think breastfeeding might actually cause it. Medical reporter Sophie Scott has more. Researchers from the Australian National University interviewed the parents of more than 15,000 kindergarten children in the ACT. They were asked whether they breastfed their babies and if any of them had developed a nut allergy. Doctors were surprised by the findings. We found that the children were uh, one and a half more times uh, likely to uh, develop um, allergy to nuts if they'd been solely breastfed compared to kids who had no breastfeeding. Researchers say their findings contribute to the argument that breastfeeding doesn't protect against nut allergies, instead it may cause them. And pregnant and breastfeeding mums could be exposing their babies to nuts inadvertently. My recommendation is that we should consider uh, this, uh, the, the diets of mums who are uh, in pregnancy or breastfeeding. Jackie Solomon breastfed all of her four children for more than six months. Just be led by your baby. Um, you know, breastfeeding is the best food for them as a baby, um, for what they can handle and, you know, when they're ready to eat solids, they'll show you. Australian dietary guidelines currently recommend exclusive breastfeeding of infants until six months of age when solid foods can be introduced. There are no warnings to pregnant and breastfeeding mums about avoiding nuts. Advocates say breastfed babies are less likely to suffer from conditions such as gastroenteritis, respiratory illness and ear infections. We would say that the benefits of breastfeeding still remain strong and significant for both mothers and babies, regardless of the results of this survey. Doctors want to do a further study comparing the health of children born to pregnant and breastfeeding mums who eat nuts with those who don't. Sophie Scott, Lateline.